It's Thursday, October 24th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel and breaking news last night, a large wildfire in Northern California, the Kincaid fire over in Sonoma County, over blew up over, last night over 10,000 acres right in the middle of the PG&E power outage area. We have no idea at this time what started this fire. But I can show you some graphics inside and give you a little better information as to what's going on with the Ken Cade fire in Northern California, Sonoma County. Evacuations are in effect. It's freezing cold here this morning in the June Lakes area is where we are in the Blanco Lirio Mobile Command Post. Everybody's inside, warm and cozy in there. Check out the view of the sunrise here. I think I steamed up the lens there a little bit. This is uh, the East Sierras, backside of Yosemite, more or less, June Lakes area, Northern California, a long ways away from the fire areas. Here's the big weather picture, compliments of KCRA. Channel 3 out of Sacramento, big high pressure over the Pacific with low pressure to our east, creating the strong pressure gradient and the generally north winds. These winds are expected to relax quite a bit today and possibly return on Sunday. Here's some of the peak winds, 12 hour peak winds in the area of the fire. And it's these windy conditions that are driving this fire. The origin of this fire is reported to be on Kincaid Road near the intersection of Burned Mountain Road. That puts it up in the geothermal area near Cobb Mountain up about the 2,500 foot elevation in some rugged terrain. Looking at the sustained winds on windy.com about 1 a.m. last night, this fire is located north of the San Francisco Bay Area and south of Clear Lake. The strong winds you see to the right are in the Sacramento Valley, that's the West side of the Sacramento Valley, which is very common this time of year, that's primarily grasslands. PG&E did a little more targeted outage this time, targeting only 178,000 customers, shown in orange here, in the foothills of the Sierra and here in the uh, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County area. So PG&E shut the power off yesterday, 23 October, about two or three o'clock in the afternoon to these areas in anticipation of this wind event. This fire, the Kincaid fire, started about 9.30 last night. On this map, the area in red shows the mandatory evacuation area and the area in gray shows the PG&E power outage area. Now it appears that this fire originated near the edge of the PG&E power outage area, but I believe this area is so remote and up in the mountains that there is no electrical power lines running through this area to begin with. So what makes this fire interesting is this is the first fire in the middle of a PG&E power outage, planned power outage area. Air tanker activity, of course, there's just way too much wind. Of course, it was dark last night, so there's no air tankers can only fly during daytime VFR operations. There was some helicopter activity last night, but it was too windy and gusty and dangerous. They had to shut down any helicopter night flying activity last night. So we'll find out more today about this fire, if they're going to launch the air tankers on it. These winds should be dying down. They should be able to get a grip on this fire pretty quickly. We'll keep you posted. See you here.